Life after Microsoft Windows and Adobe. PDF editing for free? Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again, joining me for Tea Time. We're coming to the end of some fireside. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, hanging out, talking tech, talking space, SpaceX, Starlink, Linux, all kinds of good stuff. Today, we're gonna to be talking about an alternative to Adobe Acrobat. If you need a PDF editor, what can you use if you don't wanna pay continuously in perpetuity? Well, there's a lot of you out there that are going down the same path of me, and they are, let's say, moving into Linux and getting away from Billy the Kid's Microsoft over there, that bloated piece of spyware that they call an operating system. So to move to Linux or any other operating system, you need to have something that is going to be able to edit PDFs. A lot of people need to sign PDFs. They need to edit PDFs. They need to annotate PDFs, whatever it is. But Adobe Acrobat was kind of like the de facto, what everyone uses, businesses uses everywhere. Well, what do you do if you're not going to use Adobe any longer and you broke free of Adobe also? If you guys don't know it, I actually created the Life After Adobe Cutting the Cord series. I also created the Life After Microsoft Windows Cutting the Cord series. Maybe I'll put some links here or down below in the show notes or in the pinned comment. Check those out when you're done watching this video. And I show you how to break free of Adobe, which I have done as a professional, and also how to break free of Windows, what I've also done. Currently, my Windows is sitting here and it hasn't moved from here for the last six to eight months or so. We've been using Linux for everything and it's been working great. Linux Mint 22.1 to be exact. Anyways, I was reading an article about a couple of alternatives and I've used all three of these alternatives. I wanna bring them to your attention and hopefully you can use one of these so that you do not have to use Adobe Acrobat and you can break free from paying that monthly subscription fee. I can't stand subscriptions. Before we jump into this article, I just want to say that if you enjoy the content, throw it a thumbs up. That'll be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and share and do all those things. If you want to give back to the channel, there's a little thanks button down there. You can click on that, give a dollar or two if you like. If not, the video is still free. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more content that has to do with either SpaceX, Starlink, or life after Adobe, life after Microsoft, I'll put links like here. Um, check those out. Escaping expensive PDF software with free alternatives. If you're trying to break free of Microsoft's ecosystem and its pricey software like Adobe Acrobat, there's a better way to handle PDFs without breaking the bank. Free PDF editors like Foxit, Nitro, and open source tools can do everything you need. And they work beautifully on Linux, making them a great fit if you're considering switching from Microsoft Windows. Quality application alternatives are imperative when it comes to migrating away from Microsoft Windows, and that is absolutely true. Why pay for PDF editing? Adobe Acrobat subscription fee is a tough pill to swallow, especially when you're just needing to edit or annotate or maybe sign a PDF document. There is free alternatives that match Adobe's core features without the cost. Foxit PDF Editor, for example, offers a clean interface for editing text, adding comments, and merging files. Nitro Pro is another solid pick with tools for converting PDFs or signing documents digitally. For those who prefer open source, LibreOffice Draw lets you tweak PDFs with ease. These tools are lightweight, fast, and don't come with Adobe's bloat or data tracking tendencies. These tools are lightweight, fast, and don't come with Adobe's bloat or data tracking tendencies. Isn't that the case? Seamless experience on Linux. What makes these PDF editors even better is how well they fit into a Linux environment. Perfect if you're eyeing a move from Windows for more control or privacy. Foxit or Nitro have Linux compatible versions that run smoothly on distros like Ubuntu, Pop! OS, or Linux Mint. LibreOffice Draw 
being open source, is a natural fit for Linux with no compatibility headaches. It's very easy to ditch Windows using Linux Mint, for example, and Foxic PDF Editor as a daily driver. It's just as intuitive as Adobe Acrobat, but won't slow down your laptop or spy on you. Plus, these tools don't require high-end hardware, unlike some Microsoft or Adobe products, and to boot, they are free. Free is always nice. Features that rival the big names. Don't think free means limited. Foxit lets you redact sensitive information, add digital signatures, and even encrypt PDFs for security. Nitro shines with batch processing, so you can edit multiple files at once. LibreOffice Draw is great for precise edits, like adjusting images or text in complex layouts. All three support cloud integration for ease of sharing, and they're constantly up updated to stay reliable. Whether you're a student, professional, or casual user, these tools cover your PDF needs without tying you to a subscription. That's always nice. Ditch the cost, not the functionality. Free PDF editors like Foxit, Nitro, and LibreOffice Draw prove that you don't need Adobe or Windows to work with PDFs efficiently. They're user-friendly, powerful and Linux ready, making them ideal for anyone wanting to save money and explore freer operating systems. Isn't that the case? So like I said, if you're moving from Windows, for example, because we know that Windows 10 is end of life and they're gonna be shutting it down and we're not gonna get any more upgrades, so no more updates when it comes to security or anything, so a lot of people are moving away from Windows altogether because they don't want to go to Windows 11. They don't want to see Copilot Plus or Recall on their machine or anything else to spy on them. So Linux is a great alternative. Of course, you can move into Apple, but I absolutely love Linux. It's open source and there's a ton of great software out there that you can use. Like I said, I no longer use Windows and I've been using Linux for about, what, eight plus months now, maybe nine months with no issues. And I am a professional photographer, videographer. I do episodic TV. I build things in 3D CAD. There's a ton of stuff that I do. I edit the videos and audio and everything else. And everything is done every day, all day on Linux. And I've never put Windows back into this machine. So you can do it if you want to. And this is a great alternative when it comes to Adobe Acrobat. A lot of people were stuck with Windows and stuck with Adobe for many, many years because there was nothing really good out there that was as good as Adobe Acrobat. When you look at these three, you look at that Nitro software, Foxit software, and of course LibreOffice I've been using since OpenOffice and even before that for a decade or more, these things are powerful tools and once again, there is no subscription fee. They're free. You can't beat free. So anyways, guys, I hope you found some value in this and I want to hear from you down below. What do you currently use? Do you use an alternative to Adobe Acrobat? Do you use an alternative to Adobe products in general, Photoshop or anything else? What do you use? Are you stuck in the Windows ecosphere and you're not going to leave? Or are you thinking about leaving? Because if you are, once again, check out some of those videos, my life after Microsoft Windows cutting the cord series. And of course, course, Life After Adobe Cutting the Cord series. Check those both out. There's a ton of great information there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, throw it a thumbs up like I said before and head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of my merch, my shirts, my tees, my books, everything else over there. If there's something you like, pick it up, help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected and stay Windows and Adobe free. We'll see you in the next one. Love y'all.